so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> Aloha! It's me, Blippi! And look at where I'm at today. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the big island of Hawaii. And this place is awesome because of volcanoes. Today, you and I are gonna learn about volcanoes. Yeah, maybe we'll find out what it looks like after it erupts, or maybe some lava tubes, Ooh, and maybe some steam. All right, are you ready to learn and have some fun? Me too, let's go. Wow. This place is so cool! And I even have a map. But it's kind of confusing on where I'm at. I'm trying to find all those cool things like the lava tubes and the volcano. <laughs> Aloha, Blippi. Oh! Are you lost? Do you need help finding anything? Hey! Whoa! Are you a park ranger? I am a park ranger here. My name's Ranger Aaron. Wow! And yeah, to answer your question, I am lost. I was actually trying to find the lava tubes. Ooh, well, you're in luck. We have Nahuku Lava Tube right down this trail. Do you want to go see it? Yeah, will you show me? Yeah, let's go together. All right. Whoa, great. <laughs> Ranger Aaron, this place is beautiful. I know. I love this hike over here. I would call this a rainforest. We do have areas of rainforest here at Kilauea Volcano. Really? How did the eruption not get rid of all these plants? Well, the thing is, during many volcanic eruptions here, the lava doesn't cover the whole forest. It sometimes, it'll flow around areas and leave a little pocket of forest. We call these kipukas. Kipuka. That's right. These are really important, actually, because kipukas serve as seed banks. Seed banks? What are those? It means they're areas where all of the seeds from our native plants can be saved. And then after an eruption, the wind might blow them, birds might pick them up and drop them on the new lava, and new plants can start to grow. These plants make it possible for the rest of the forest to come back to that area. And eventually, you may not even know there was ever a lava flow there. Wow, that is really cool. But since there's a lot of poisonous gases in the air when volcanoes erupt, how do these plants survive? Well, a lot of our plants here on this island, they had to adapt to survive a volcano such as our Ohia Lehua tree. Look at these giant trees above us. Wow, they these, are big. <laughs> these trees are very important in Hawaiian culture, and they also have some superpowers to help them survive a volcanic eruption. Superpowers? I love superpowers. What do you mean? Well, the Ohia Lehua tree can actually hold its breath during a volcanic eruption for up to two weeks. Oh, that's a long time! Mm -hmm. This is really cool! Can we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go see the lava tube. Oh, cool, let's go! <laughs> wow, what's this? This is the Nahuku lava tube. Lava tube? What does that mean? Well, that means this is a tunnel where lava used to be flowing during an eruption. But sometimes at the end of the eruption, the lava will flow out and leave this empty tunnel behind. And this one we can actually walk through. Oh, cool. That sounds really exciting. Can we walk through it right now? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> you lead the way. All right. <laughs> oh, pretty dark wow. in here. Yeah, don't worry. There are some lights. All right. <laughs> Whoa, cool. So we have to imagine this is where the lava used to be flowing through many, many years ago. Oh, wow. Well, this is really cool. Oh, and it's getting pretty dark in here. I know. Good thing we've got a few lights to help us see the way. Oh, yeah. Smart. Whoa, cool. Do you mind if I touch the wall? Oh, please don't. This is actually a very unique ecosystem in our park. There are some insects that live here that don't live anywhere else. And if we touch the walls, we could disturb this ecosystem. Okay, if you're ever in a lava tube, don't touch the walls. Whoa! And it's really cool how there's special insects that just live in here. But hey, what's that sound? Yeah, the dripping? Is it raining in here? Actually, volcanic rock is very porous. That means there's lots of little holes and cracks in it. So when it rains, the water can filter down through the rock and eventually it can drip right on top of us. Oh, cool. Well, I guess we'll continue, but we'll try and not get wet. <laughs> right, we should have brought an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was really cool. I know, this is one of my favorite places in our national park. Yeah, and you're so smart knowing about those insects and also how the water drops through the rock. 
All the important facts to know to understand how special our volcano is. Yeah, it is very special. Hey, and speaking of volcano, do you mind if we go check it out? Yeah, do you want to go see Hale Mauma'u Crater? Oh, I would love to. That sounds like fun. All right, let's go see our volcano. All right. <laughs> Wow, cool, a volcano! That's right, this is a very special place at the National Park. So whenever I bring students up here, I remind them to keep quiet voices oh. so that we can be respectful, so that everybody can enjoy this part of the National Park. Wow, and why is it so sacred up here? Well, this is known as a vahipana. In Hawaiian, that means a sacred place. In Hawaiian culture, many people believe that this crater, Hale Mauma'u Crater, is the home of Pele Honuamea. Pele is the fire goddess and the goddess of volcanoes, and many people believe that the Hawaiian islands would not be here without Pele. So that's why this is such a sacred and special area in the park. Wow, this is a special place and it's so peaceful. But wait a second, what is a volcano? Well, a volcano is a geologic feature where underneath the Earth's crust, magma chambers can form. Magma is molten rock. So these pockets of molten rock start building up pressure. And eventually, they can build up enough pressure that they actually break through the Earth's crust and lava can erupt out of the Earth's crust. Wow, cool! So does this volcano erupt a bunch of lava? It does. Actually, this volcano is erupting right now. Wait, right now? Why is it not just exploding in air? Well, the Hawaiian volcanoes don't usually have explosive eruptions. The Hawaiian volcanoes have what we call effusive eruptions. So the lava can bubble out and flow, and they also sometimes erupt out of rift zones in the side of the volcano. Oh, that makes sense. So is that the lava down there? Well, that is the lava down there. Once lava cools and turns into rock, it turns black. So we are looking at the cooled lava lake right now. Wow, and when did this eruption start? This current eruption started in September of 2021. Oh, and what did it look like before that time? Well, there was actually a really big change in our volcano before the last big eruption. Before that really big eruption, our volcano, the caldera was more flat. And Hale Mauma'u Crater was very small. It would have just been right over there. But what happened during that eruption? We had that magma chamber underneath the earth and it started to empty because it was erupting out of the side of the volcano. Okay. So eventually all of the lava, all of the magma got out of that chamber and it was just empty. And when it was hollow and empty like that, it couldn't hold the weight of the volcano. So it actually collapsed. Wow. And that's what we can see here. This crater got much, much bigger during that eruption. Wow, that's really cool. So is this the only volcano that you folks have here? Flippy, guess how many volcanoes you can see right now? Um, one? The answer is actually three. We have five volcanoes on our island total, and we can see three of them right here. Do you want to go see the others? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Whoa, so that's the other volcano we can see? Right, that is one of the other volcanoes we can see from right here. That's called Mauna Kea. And one interesting fact is Mauna Kea is so tall, in the wintertime, it can actually get snow. Wait, snow in Hawaii? That's right, I used to teach second grade, and my second graders could go to the top of Mauna Kea, sled down a hill with snow on it, and then go to the beach in the same day. <laughs> wow, that sounds like so much fun. I would love to live here. I love sledding and the beach. <laughs> oh, wait, so you said there's another volcano? All I see is hills. Well, actually, we are going to see Mauna Loa Volcano. And this is a really great example of why they're called shield volcanoes. You see this big hill behind us? Yeah. That is all Mauna Loa. That is all the volcano. Wow. Even though it doesn't look like this, it looks like this, a shield volcano. It's still a volcano. That's right, like a superhero shield laid on its side. <laughs> cool. Wow, do you have any other fun things to see today? Do you want to see some steam vents with steam coming out of the earth? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, let's go see those last. All right. <laughs> Wow, this place is awesome. 
Yeah. Park Ranger Aaron, what is this? This is a steam vent. Oh, a steam vent? What's that? Well, do you remember when we walked through the lava tube, we felt all of those drops of water falling on us? Yeah. Well, something similar happens here. Remember, our, our volcanic rock is so porous. That means there's lots of holes and cracks in it. Right. So when it rains, the rainwater can seep down through the rocks. Okay. Do you remember what's underneath a volcano? Uh, the magma chamber? That's right, all of that <laughs> magma, that super hot molten rock is underneath our volcano. So eventually the water seeps down so far, it gets heated up by the magma, it evaporates and it turns into steam. Wow. The steam can escape from these cracks in the earth just like this. Wow, this has been so much fun learning about volcanoes with you today. You're so knowledgeable. Well, thank you for coming and learning about volcanoes. It's so important that we work together to protect these special places. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> well, I've got to go meet some youth junior rangers over at the visitor center. Wow, cool. All right, bye, Blippi. All right, see you later. Enjoy your visit. All right, have a good day. Wow, Mount Aloha looks so big. And remember how we learned that it looks like a superhero shield laying down flat? Yeah, not all volcanoes look like this. Wow, we learned so much today. We even got to walk through a lava tube and it was so tubular. <laughs> yeah, and those steam vents, so cool. And it was pretty warm too, that steam from all that heat. Wow, and that crater, it was so big and vast. Wow, I sure did love learning about volcanoes with you. But this is the end of this video. If you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. -P -P -I. Good job, all right, see you again, bye-bye. It's me, Blippi! And can you guess where I am today? <laughs> yeah! That's right, we're here in Diggerland in Kent, England. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what I'm writing in? Yeah, this right here is a telehandler. <laughs> yeah, they're really big vehicles that lift really big, heavy things. <laughs> but today, it's not lifting a big, heavy thing, it's lifting me! <laughs> Whoa, here we go! Whoa! Land is awesome! And I wonder what kind of construction vehicles we'll see today. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you hear something? Hmm, I think I hear a vehicle. Do you see a construction vehicle behind me? <gasps> Whoa, check it out! It's an excavator! <laughs> yeah! Well, I love excavators. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Let's pretend to be excavators and dig in the dirt together. <laughs> Okay, I'll teach you how. Just bring up your arm to be the arm, the boom, and the bucket, and start to scoop. <laughs> Whoa, look at a scoop! Whoa, that was so much dirt! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I think I see someone in the cab. Maybe they can teach us how to operate the excavator. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, it's so muddy here. Good thing I brought my rain boots. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a person. Come on, let's go say hi. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? My name's Brad. Oh, Brad, it's nice to meet you. Can you teach us how to operate the excavator? Of course I can. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, Brad, can I climb up in there? Yes. Okay, Careful. here we go. <laughs> Let's get into the cab. So, seatbelt first for me. Oh yeah, safety first. That stick over there, mm -hmm. I want you to pull it backwards for me and that's gonna go all the way up. Okay, here we go. If you push it forwards for me, it should go all the way down for you. Now, if you go side to side on that one, it's gonna open and close your bucket for you to do big scoops. Whoa, check it out! 
<laughs> now, on this one here, if you go forwards and backwards for me, that's going to go in and out. Okay. Whoa. So this is controlling the arm. Yes. Whoa. And then the last bit, if you go side to side on it, that will turn the whole thing for you. Okay, here we go. Watch awesome. out. Watch <laughs> out. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Whoa. Yeah. I can control the arm right here and the boom over here. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, this is awesome! <laughs> Whoa, let's scoop some more dirt. Here we go. Whoa, look at all the dirt we got. Here we go. Did you see that? Whoa! Excavators are awesome! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's so bumpy! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning how to operate the excavator! Huh! But excavators are really cool, but I bet there's some pretty amazing construction vehicles we can go find! <laughs> Come on! This place is so much fun! <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what it says? It says stack attack. Hmm, wait a minute. I think this is a game we can play together. Well, let's go inside and play. This place is awesome! <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, so muddy and dirty here. <laughs> I bet this game is definitely gonna be messy. <laughs> Whoa, and look at what it is. <laughs> They're giant tires. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at all the tires here. It looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six tires. Hmm, well, I bet the game is we need to stack all the tires up. Stack, attack. Stack the tires. Okay, we can do it. Okay, we just need to get a tire and stack it on another, and we can make a tower of tires. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that tire is way too heavy to pick up. Hmm, but I wonder how we're going to stack all of those tires. No way! <laughs> Look at what it is! It's a compact loader! Whoa! This is gonna be perfect for stacking those tires. Yeah, do you see in the front? This is a hydraulic claw! Yeah, look at it. Whoa! <laughs> and it uses these little claws here to grab the tires and stack them up. <laughs> Whoa! I think we should get inside <laughs> and try to stack up those tires. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty fun. <laughs> hey, it's kind of like any other vehicle. Safety first. You need your seatbelt. <laughs> okay, we'll buckle up. And, hmm, well, we also need to know how to drive it. So first, we have pedals. One pedal goes forward, and the other pedal, it goes backwards. <laughs> it has a key, just like a car, so we can turn it on and a steering wheel <laughs> so we can change direction. Whoa, and do you see what this is? Yeah, this right here, this is the control for the hydraulic claw. Yeah, when we move this, it will move the claw so we can stack up those tires and have lots of fun and win the game. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to stack those tires. <laughs> here we go. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Okay, here we go. One tire! <laughs> okay. Whee! We stacked three tires, but 
We need a stack for rest. <laughs> Pretty fun and a little bit silly. <laughs> Come on, let's go! <laughs> Woo! Hello! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Do you know what I was just driving? <laughs> yeah, that is a backhoe! <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bumpy to drive, but so fun. And I thought we could go on a ride together. But first, I wanted to show you this. <laughs> yeah, do you know what this is called? It's called the front bucket. Yeah, and on a backhoe, it helps to dig up all the dirt <laughs> so you can make a really big hole and help to build something if you're on a construction site. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. A backhoe has really big wheels and tires. <laughs> yeah, look, it has medium sized front wheels and tires <laughs> and really, really, really big <laughs> back wheels and tires. <laughs> it's a little bit muddy. <laughs> yeah, look, big treads help to get all the mud so it can go really fast <laughs> and so that it doesn't get stuck. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what this is? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's an excavator arm. Wait a minute, a backhoe like this has an excavator arm attachment, just like the Blippi Mobile has an excavator arm attachment. <laughs> yeah, it has an arm, a boom, and a bucket, so it can dig all the dirt in the back, or the front bucket can dig in the front. Well, that was really cool showing you the exterior of the backhoe. Now. Time to get inside and go for a ride. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Watch your step. Whoa, I am so excited to go on a ride with you. But first things first, you need to buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> and I'm gonna buckle up too. <laughs> Safety first. <sighs> okay, and now we get to start the backhoe. And kind of like a car, it has a key right over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, check it out. We're inside the backhoe. It has a wheel just like a car. And look, oh, <laughs> a windshield wiper. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, but it's not raining right now, so we don't need that. And it has a gear shifter. So we'll put that into the right gear and take the brake away. Okay, <laughs> okay we're all ready to drive. <laughs> Oh, but I forgot another important thing. Yeah, if we want to move the front bucket, we just move this knob right over here. Here we go. Check it out. Whoa, up, down, up. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to drive. Here we go. Woo! Do you see what it is? Yeah, there's a bunch of tires. Maybe we can try to pick one up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, do you see it? Look, we grabbed a tire with the front bucket. And I have an idea. <laughs> Let's take it with us on our journey. Woo, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was a big bump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's so fun driving in a backhoe because the tires and treads are so big that even if we drive over a couple bumps, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, can't hurt us. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna make a big turn. Whoa! And through a big puddle. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, good thing we have our seatbelt on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look up ahead. It looks like 
there are two really big hills. One, two. One of them looks really, really steep and really big. You think we can make it over it? <laughs> Good, me too, okay? We're gonna go really fast and go over the big hill. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. means we get to have lots of fun in the rain and the mud. <laughs> Whoa, and look at what it is. It's an excavator. <laughs> yeah, look, there's the cab where workers sit to control the boom, <laughs> the arm, and the bucket. Wait a minute, that's not the bucket. Those are seats. <laughs> you know what? I bet we can ride this excavator. Yeah. This isn't any ordinary excavator. This is Spin Dizzy, <laughs> and it's a ride. Yeah, it's called Spin Dizzy because you spin and get really dizzy. <laughs> okay, let's get on it. Woo, here we go. <laughs> here we go, woohoo. <laughs> okay, whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Look at me go! I got a little bit dizzy. Whoa! That was so much fun today at Diggerland. We saw so many construction vehicles and we got to operate them. We even got to see an excavator. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, <laughs> get ready. B L I P P I. Flippy, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>me Flippy and today we are here at a very special place Kidzania <laughs> yeah Kidzania is a place where kids ages 4 to 14 can come and learn what it's like to be a part of a real city <laughs> and you and I are gonna learn about different jobs that keep people safe <laughs> let's go can't wait to get to Kidzania, but it's kind of far away, so we need to get there on an airplane. <laughs> oh, I love riding airplanes. <laughs> when you get on, first, you need to put away your luggage. <laughs> yeah, then find your seat. Yeah, maybe you're sitting on the aisle. <laughs> or maybe in the middle seat. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, hello. <laughs> Maybe by the window. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, I love being on an airplane because I love going to new places. And airplanes get you there really fast. <laughs> hey, and have you ever been to the very best part of an airplane? Yeah, the cockpit. That's where the pilot sits. Oh, wait, I think I can see it from here. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Whoa, do you know what this part of the plane is? Whoa, 
This is the cockpit. Yeah, this is the front of the airplane where the pilot sits. <laughs> oh, have you ever seen the cockpit of an airplane? Whoa, yeah, <laughs> it's a really cool place. And pilots, they're so nice. <laughs> wow, but look at this. There are a lot of screens and levers and controls and buttons and switches. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like being a pilot is a really tricky job. Oh, you know that one of the jobs you can do at Kidzania is learn to become a pilot. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense because there are so many different switches here. <laughs> looks like it, you need a lot of practice for it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it would be so fun to fly an airplane. Ooh. <laughs> looks like the plane's getting ready to take off. We better go so the pilot can sit here. <laughs> okay, let's go take our seats. Whew. Well, the plane's gonna take off soon, so we need to find our seat. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Ooh, well, this seat has a lot of leg room. <laughs> and can't forget to buckle up. Safety first. <laughs> okay, I think the plane's about to take off. Here we go. <laughs> That was one long flight. <laughs> and I'm so excited to go to Kinzania. But first, we need to go through immigration. <laughs> Look at who it is. It's Urbano. <laughs> yeah, Urbano lives here in Kinzania. Yeah, and he speaks the Kinzanian language. <laughs> hi. I mean, hi. <laughs> Urbano, what's that in your hand? It's for me. Aw. <laughs> This is a bank card from the Central Bank of Kidzania. <laughs> That's right. If you work a job here, you get paid in kidzas. <laughs> That's the money of Kidzania. <laughs> I want to earn a lot of kidzos. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It has my name on the back. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. This is my bank card. Well, I'm going to hang on to this for later. <laughs> well. Thank you so much, Urbano. I mean, thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't wait to try some jobs today. And I definitely want to find a job that helps keep the citizens of Kidzania safe. <laughs> hmm, what is a really interesting and important job that would be a lot of fun and would help keep people safe? Hmm, I know we could be a firefighter. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. We're here at the Fire and Rescue Training Center in the fire station. <laughs> Oh, being a firefighter would be awesome. <laughs> but hmm, what are the steps to be a firefighter? Well, first, we need to look like a firefighter. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> look, there is an actual firefighter jacket. <laughs> yeah, we want to put this on. And some firefighter pants. <laughs> Here we go. One leg. Two legs. <laughs> well, you want to make sure it's all zipped up. <laughs> yeah. And you can't forget an official firefighter helmet. You see what it says? Captain. <laughs> yeah. Today, Captain Blippy of the Fire Brigade. <laughs> okay. <sighs> now that we look like a firefighter, we need a train. Yeah. To be a firefighter, you have to be really athletic, strong, and brave. First, <laughs> we need to do some running. Will you act like a firefighter with me? <laughs> okay, let's start by running. <laughs> well, running is really good exercise, and it's good for your heart. <laughs> well, that's enough running. <laughs> now, we need to stretch, because if we're climbing up a ladder, or saving a kitten from a tree, or going into a burning building, we need to be nice and warmed up. We'll stretch our arms like this. 
Then we can touch our toes. Here we go. Touch your toes with me. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> hmm. Well, we look like a firefighter and we're ready and trained to be a firefighter. I think we're still missing one thing. Hmm. That's right, a fire truck! And <laughs> check it out! Whoa! It's an actual Kidzania fire truck! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I feel like I'm almost a real firefighter now. <laughs> hey, why don't we get in the fire truck and go on patrol? We can see the city, and even though I don't see a fire now, if you see any trouble, we can help others. Okay. Let's do it! Woohoo! <laughs> Here we go! Climb aboard! Whoa! Look at this city! Whoa, Katsini is so cool! See all these buildings? <laughs> Whoa! Looks like we just went under a bridge. <laughs> Pretty fun being a firefighter. You need to keep your eyes open in case there's any danger. We can save the day. <laughs> But looks like there's no danger now. Just a nice drive through the city. <laughs> Whoa! The alarm! Oh no! I think there's a fire! We gotta go! Here we go! I don't see anything yet. Keep looking! Whoa! I think the fire's up ahead. <laughs> Good thing we're here to help. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get our hose, and we need to make sure that we spray down all the fire with lots of water. <laughs> it's the Grand Flamingo Hotel. Oh no! We need to put out the fire. Come on! Oh, whoa! <laughs> Good thing we have our fire hoses. Here we go! Whoa! We need to put out all the flames! Woo! <laughs> oh, look at it go! Whoa! Woo! Not enough water! Woo! Whoa! 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 I think the fire's going away, but we need to keep working. <laughs> This is hard work. We gotta keep going. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We put out the fire. See, all the fire's gone. That was really fun, but a lot of work. A firefighter is really important. <laughs> but good thing we fought the fire and we won. Yeah, all the fire's gone now. And everyone's safe. Feels really good to do a good job especially doing an important job like being a firefighter. <laughs> oh, the fire's back! Whoa! 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 This is one hard fire to fight! Woo! We did it! <laughs> For real this time, we put out the fire! Yeah! Oh, great job! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we did it! Oh. Being a firefighter is a lot of hard work, <laughs> but really rewarding. Yeah! <laughs> we earned some kidzos, and we saved and helped people. Oh, that was a lot of hard work for those kidzos. <laughs> well, I think it's time to get changed. It's getting a little hot in here. <laughs> We're here at the department store. Can't wait to spend my kids's. <laughs> hmm. Well, what should we get? Hmm. There's a lot of fun things here. <laughs> Ooh, like little pom pom pens. Whoa. <laughs> or maybe. Hmm. Ooh, maybe a ring. Hello. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. I have an idea. 
What if we got a present for Mika? <laughs> Aw, I bet she'd really like that. <laughs> I know just what to get her. Let's get Mika something that is purple and yellow, her two favorite colors. <laughs> oh, we could get her this yellow frisbee. Hmm, and now we just need something purple. Hmm. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I, I see something purple. I see a purple eye pen! Woo! <laughs> well, I bet Mika will really like these things. <laughs> She's gonna think this is really funny. <laughs> well, now we just need to pay with our kids' Oh, let's go this way. Oh, hello! Hi! <laughs> I'm Blippi, what's your name? My name's Louie. Oh, Louie, can you help me purchase these nice uh, googly eyes and Frisbee with some kidzos? Of course I can. Can I just have your card? Yeah, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Can I just take that? Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then that. Thank you very much. That would be a hundred. Oh, okay. Here One you go. more time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, we did it! Bye-bye! <laughs> See you! <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome! <laughs> I had so much fun here at Kidzania. Yeah, it was great being a firefighter, and we got to get some nice gifts for Mika. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. It's me, Flippy, and today I'm here at the Postal Museum in London, England. <laughs> and I am so excited because they have play areas, postal games, and even a mail train. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go see what it's like to be a postal worker. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! We're here in the Postal Play Place. <laughs> Whoa, this looks so fun. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you see what it is? The post office. Hmm. We should go inside and see if we can help send out some mail. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> looks like there's a lot of packages here and a lot of letters. Well, we want to make sure all the packages can be sent out but we need to make sure they're weighed to see how heavy they are first. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> this one looks good to me. <laughs> no way, check it out. These packages are animals. Whoa, look, this package is a giraffe. <laughs> it has a really long neck. <laughs> well, this is a fun package to send. <laughs> and <gasps> no way. Do you know what kind of package this is? It's an elephant. <laughs> well, that's cool too. <laughs> a tea cup? <laughs> well, that's pretty yummy. Hmm, would you like some tea too? <laughs> Blippi tea party! Woo! <laughs> well, just kidding. It's just a package shaped like a tea cup. <laughs> well, I think we can find a place to deliver this letter. Yeah, hmm. keep your eyes open. <laughs> It looks like we're here in London. Well, little London. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of things in the city, like a house plant, <laughs> whoa, and a comfy couch. Ooh, <laughs> look, oh, it's a red and yellow delivery truck. <laughs> oh, looks like the car wants to go to sleep. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! A horse drawn carriage! Yeah, it has one, two little horses. <laughs> Traffic jam! <laughs> well, let's keep looking for a place to put the letter. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! There are all kinds of blocks. Hmm. Maybe we can build a giant 
British Castle. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. Yeah, do you see it? So big. <laughs> yeah, what happens if I accidentally <laughs> knocked it down? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, and since we're here in London, can't forget the red phone booth. Ooh, let's see how many we can find. One, two, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! We found twelve. That is way too many phone booths. <laughs> but good thing we still have our letter. Hmm. Hello, kitty cat. Hello. Meow, meow. <laughs> you see, it's a kitty cat. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Wonder where we'll go next. <laughs> Hello, double decker bus. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, no way. I think I see where we can send our letter out. <gasps> it's a post box. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Letter away. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, oh look, a red hat and hmm, a red post office vest. One arm and two arms, woo! -hoo. Ready for work. <laughs> Whoa, that is a lot of mail to send. <laughs> Well, good thing we're really good at delivering mail, so this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay, let's get all the mail. Here we go. Okay, I got all the mail, but we need to pay for it, so I'll see you on the other side of the town. <laughs> Whoa! That is a lot of mail. <laughs> yeah, and we can ring it up right here at the register. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, well, we paid for the mail to get delivered so that the post office workers and the delivery men can get paid too. <laughs> well, now we got to deliver all of this. Here we go. Whoa, yeah, we did it. <laughs> now we just need to deliver all these letters. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. This is a lot of work, working at the post office. <laughs> but it sure is fun because I'm with you. <laughs> Wait a minute, I almost forgot. We have all the packages, letters, envelopes, but they need to be sorted before we can mail them out. <laughs> oh, well good thing the sorting office is right over there. Oh, yeah, when we go in the sorting office, we can sort the mail! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Now, let's deliver the letters. Ooh, I see some houses. Wait a minute, this house is really tiny. <laughs> That's because, look, it's a mouse house. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look, there's a yellow house, a red house, and an orange house. <laughs> yeah, they have some pretty colorful roofs. <laughs> okay, here's your mail. One, two, three letters delivered. <laughs> Whoa, but look at this. Hmm. This is a pretty interesting looking jacket. And, oh, whoa, it's a giant sack of letters. Huh, big bag of letters and interesting jacket. <laughs> we'll have to try it on. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> but I wonder what this is all for. Hmm. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi, what's your name? My name's Andy. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Andy. 
Well, we've been having a lot of fun today, but I've never seen a jacket like this before. So that's the sort of jacket a letter carrier would wear a long time ago. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> well, I love delivering letters. <laughs> and maybe we can pretend to be a letter carrier from a really long time ago with our bag of letters <laughs> and our cool jacket. <laughs> well, do you think we could deliver some more letters? We have a challenge for you. A challenge? A postal challenge. Whoa, that sounds like fun. <laughs> We'd like you to deliver these three letters into three different post boxes around the museum. Oh, that sounds really fun. Well, we found some post boxes. I bet we can find some more. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Oh, a real challenge. Postal challenge. <laughs> well, thanks, Andy. No problem. Good okay. luck. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! I just can't wait to deliver these letters. <laughs> and I love the mail. But do you see where we are? <laughs> yeah, we're in a tunnel. Whoa, <laughs> this tunnel, there used to be trains. <laughs> I love trains. <laughs> yeah, all kinds. Diesel trains, electric trains, and steam trains. Choo-choo. <laughs> yeah, and this is the train depot. Yeah, that's where trains would come to get fixed up. <laughs> yeah, if they were broken or just needed a tune-up, they could come here to get all fixed. <laughs> Whoa, and I think I see a train over here. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a train. It's a red train, but it looks kind of small. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. That's because this train track used to have mail trains. Whoa, yeah. Mail trains were trains that helped deliver the mail letters and packages too. <laughs> yeah, and this track used to go from Paddington all the way to Whitechapel in London. Ooh. <laughs> and it would help the letters and whatever mail needed to get delivered, get delivered more easily. <laughs> Choo -choo! <laughs> mm, but wait a minute. Mail trains didn't have any seats for people. Yeah, that's because the mail trains were filled with mail. <laughs> but it looks like this train has chairs and seats. Oh, well, we need to deliver some letters. Maybe this train can help us deliver them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this right here? <laughs> it's a really big battery. So I bet this train goes really fast. <laughs> yeah, they used to be electric, but now battery power. <laughs> okay, let's get in the train. Can't wait to deliver these letters. Whoa, we're in the train. Well, uh, it's so small in here. Oh, I can put my letters there and <laughs> squeeze in right here. <laughs> Whoa, this is so fun. Yeah, traveling in a train underground. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, look at it. It's so old here. <laughs> I can't wait to deliver the letter. <laughs> oh, it's getting really dark. Yeah, the ceiling is so low because we're in a really tiny train. <laughs> yeah, we can imagine that we are a package or maybe a letter from a really long time ago. <laughs> this is fun being male. I think I see something up ahead. <laughs> Whoa, we made it to a platform. <laughs> Let's get out and deliver the letter. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun riding on the train. <laughs> and look at where we are. We're here at the mail station. This is where the mail trains get all their packages and mail. <laughs> This place is awesome. Check it out. <laughs> These are the mail train tracks. Yeah, this is the tracks that the mail trains would deliver the mail on. <laughs> They're so small. Well, that's because the mail train is really small too. <laughs> Do you see this part? 
Yeah, the tracks cross. Yeah, they make little X shapes. <laughs> That's because the mail trains sometimes need to change directions. So it's easy for the operator to move the trains around. <laughs> no way! An actual 1920s mail conveyor belt! <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah, the mail station is underneath the mail sorting area. Yeah, it's kind of where they would sort all the mail and letters and things so that people would get the right letters. <laughs> yeah, it would go on this conveyor belt right here. Oh, check it out. <laughs> this is where the mail chute is. The letters would go down the chute, over the conveyor belt, onto the trolley, <laughs> and then onto the mail train. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We've been trying to deliver a letter and look at what it is. It's a post box. <laughs> yeah, now we can deliver the first letter. <laughs> oh, first letter. It says, hello from London. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Whoa. Oh, hi, Andy. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. A red and green car. Well, Andy, what's this? This is our pneumatic train game. What you do is you turn the handle, that powers the fan, and then the air pushes the car up the tube. Oh, that's amazing. So these are air powered? Yeah, these are powered by air. Whoa. Pneumatic is the word for that. Pneumatic? Whoa, that's a pretty funny looking word. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Andy, there's a red car right here and a green car right here. One for you and one for me. Do you think we can race? We can have a competition. Okay, <laughs> shall we start? Are you ready? One, two, three, race! Whoa, Andy, you won! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, you're really good at this. <laughs> well, it's really fun to play with some toy cars in a pneumatic tube, but I see this big picture here. It has a really big pneumatic tube. What's this? So this is a small version of a real life version they built on the banks of the River Thames in London a long time ago. Whoa. And it was designed to carry mail before the mail rail. No way. So these little cars, they weren't for people, they were just for mail? Just for mail. But this version could uh, uh, occasionally carry people. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, we just rode the mail train. <laughs> but I guess before there was a train, they used these tubes, right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Well, Andy, it was so fun racing you with our pneumatic tube cars. <laughs> but I have some more letters to deliver. Well, thanks again so much. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Woo, let's go deliver some mail. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here in a traveling post office. Yeah, this was a train car on a big train. It's kind of like the mail rail, but it's not as small. <laughs> Yeah, and you see right here, this is where a post office worker might sort all the different mail. <laughs> and look, there are letters right here. Ooh, this one has an airplane on it. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. This one has a car. Honk, honk. <laughs> hmm. And this one has a little puppy dog. <laughs> Oh, hey, I think it's a game. I think we need to sort all these letters into the right spots. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Puppy dog and puppy dog. <laughs> car and car and airplane and airplane. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, look, do you see it? The floor is moving. <laughs> I bet it was really tricky being a traveling post office worker. Yeah, because the floor would move so fast and the train would go so fast. And it would also be kind of noisy too. <laughs> oh, well, that reminds me, we have another letter to deliver. Hmm. Well, maybe we can put it in a post box. Ooh, I see one over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> We did it! 
think we need to get off this train. It's so bumpy. <laughs> Whoa, I'm having so much fun delivering all these letters. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out, tubes. <laughs> hmm, but these aren't just any tubes. These are pneumatic tubes. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, pneumatic means anything that uses air. Yeah, and a pneumatic tube used to help deliver the mail. <laughs> yeah, it used air kind of like a vacuum. At the end of the tube, a motor sucked out all the air and then the mail would shoot through the tube. <laughs> yeah, it would travel in one of these canisters. Ooh, and it looks like someone wrote a letter already. <laughs> it says, hi. Ooh, I bet Andy wrote this letter. <laughs> Hey, maybe we can send it back to Andy and say, hello. <laughs> okay, let's try. Yeah, you open up the tube here, put in the canister and... Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and look, Whoa, it's gone. <laughs> hmm, that's pretty fun. It's a pretty amazing way for mail to travel. Ooh, but wait a minute. I have an idea. What if we wrote a letter to Mika and sent it through the pneumatic tube? <laughs> okay, let's try it. First, we just need a piece of paper and an envelope, a pen, ooh, and a tube. Oh, a canister for the tube. <laughs> okay, hmm. What should we write? Dear Mika, ooh, I hope you are having a great day. <laughs> I am having so much fun in London at the Postal Museum. <laughs> hmm. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Your best friend, <laughs> Bolippy. <laughs> okay, then we just need to fold this up <laughs> and we'll put it in this envelope. Then we can put the envelope in the canister. Just open it up, put it in there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now we can send it to Mika. Hello, Mika, here you go. <laughs> Whoa, it worked! <laughs> That's gonna be a really long trip to Mika. Well, anyway, we have some more letters to deliver. Okay, <laughs> let's go see if we can find another post box. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> hey, there's one right here. And good thing we have oh, <laughs> our last letter. Yeah, letter number three. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we did it! That was awesome! I had so much fun delivering letters, playing games, and learning what it's like to be a postal worker here at the Postal Museum! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> ready? B L I. P-P-I! Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>